Hello, dear Roadwars. In this video, we'll create menus so we can access everything we need directly from our app. We'll also look at how we can optimize our app by adding search filters and domains. So let's get started. So I'm already in studio in the app we created. I want to be able to easily access the records of my real estate agents and my other contacts. So the first thing we're going to do is provide access to the employee and contact models from the app's menu. To do so, I'm going to click here on the Edit menu. And as you can see, we already have some menu items that were created when we created the app. We can add new menu items by clicking the New Menu button here. And I will call here my first menu, Agents, and link it to an existing models, in this case, my employees. And I can confirm for this first menu. The second menu I would like to create will be for my contacts, but it will also contain two sub-menus. To do so, I can create a new menu that I can name Contacts and specify it as a parent menu for now. Again, confirm. And for my two sub-menus, I will do the same. One will be for my seekers. And here in this case, I will again link it to an existing model. In this case, contact. I can confirm and I will do the same for my owners linked to the contact model, like this. Now, to specify that these two should be the submenus of the contacts menu, I can simply slide them to the right like so. And one last um, thing I would like to do here would be to keep the configuration at the end of the menu bar. So to do so, I can simply drag and drop the whole block here at the bottom. I think that's it for the menu, so I will confirm my changes. And how will Odoo know to only display owners or seekers? For that, we need to apply filters, and more precisely, filter rules. So I'll click on the filter rules tab here, and this is where all the existing filter rules related to the current model appear. Some filter rules are automatically created, for example, when a user saves the current search to use it by default, like it's the case here. We can also create new ones, and that's what we'll do here for each set menu. So I'll go ahead and, and click on the new button. I can give a name to this uh, new filter of ours, so I will call it Seekers, leave it available for all users, and link it to the proper model, which is Contact in this case. I also want to specify that it's, it will be the default filter as soon as you click on the menu. And for the action, you want to be looking for the menu name. So again, Seekers. Finally, I'll add a domain, which is what allows us to define the conditions to be used for filtering the records. Domains are actually used in many places in Nodu, and we'll see a few other examples later on in this video. So we'll add our condition, and the one we want to be adding will be that to specify that our contact type here should be seeker or I can add another one, it could also be both. And you should make sure that it can match any of those records, so make sure to also um, switch this option here. That's it for this filter, I will save it, and to make it easier for the second one, you can actually duplicate it and then adapt, adapt it slightly so that it applies to owners looking for the owner's menu as well, and then change the domain accordingly. Could we apply a similar domain to the owner field in the properties model? I'd like to restrict the selection to owners only. That makes sense, of course. To do so, let's switch to our properties model, access the form view and select our owner field. This is where I'll be able to add a domain here on the left, and you can add here our conditions just like we've done. So here we want to specify again that our contact type has to be an owner or, of course, it could be both. And again, make sure that it can match any of those rules. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Great. And the last domain example I'd like to show you is on search filters. So let's say we want to be able to search separately for properties that are either for rent or for sale. To do that, we need to customize the search view and add filters components. So I will drag and drop this block here and uh, name my first uh, filter. So that one will be for rent and add a domain again, this time on the rent or sale field and specify the um, value for rent. I can confirm this one and drag and drop a new component. 
that will be for sale and add my domain on the same uh, field. So uh, rent or sale, but for the other value this time and confirm. Now to make it a little bit more clean, I could also add a separator just like that. What if I made a mistake and I need to change the conditions? Then you can just go back on your filter, click the domain and change the conditions at any time. Now, I think we're ready to test our changes. So let's close Studio. Wait, can we add one last thing? I'd like to access an owner's properties from the contact form. That's a great idea. For this, we can add a smart button to the contact form. So let's access it via the new menus we created and switch to the form view. The plus icon here will create our new uh, smart button, which I will name properties. And I will select an icon for it too. Now, in order to be able to add a button, there must be an existing relationship between the two models. And that's the case here, since we've added the owner field to the properties model. So that will be the field I will be looking for, owner, linked to properties. I cannot confirm, and it adds our smart button. I think it's time to close Studio and see what it all looks like. If I select our Seekers uh, sub-menu, only my contacts defined as Seekers will be displayed. And the same goes for our owners. If I select one of them, we see their properties displayed on top. For my properties, I can now quickly um, filter them, whether they're for rent or for sale. And if I create a new one and want to specify the owner, only the contacts defined as owners will be displayed. Can you believe how easy it was to add new menus to our app and create new filters to our models? Now our app is fully functional and more enjoyable to use. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.